A third way to quantize MIDI in Pro Tools is to use what's known as input quantize. When input quantize is turned on in your session, any MIDI recording that you do will automatically be quantized according to the parameters that you have set. So when you record, the MIDI notes will be displayed in their quantized state. So this is great for people who like to work continuously in their session without having to stop or apply settings. So let me show you how to set this up. To display the input quantize window, go up to event, event operations, and choose input quantize. Now, this window is very much like the regular quantize window, but the difference is you have this box up at the top that allows you to turn it on. And once it's turned on, everything you record in MIDI is going to go ahead and quantize for you. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to record a two bar drum beat and I'm going to have it loop over and over again. And every time it loops, I'm going to add a new drum element. So I've turned on loop playback and I'm in regular record mode and I've got a one measure pre-roll. I'm going to arm my track to record and I'm going to go ahead and press record. Okay, so you can see that as I recorded, it automatically quantized my notes. One other thing to note if you're going to um, record over and over again on a track is make sure you go up to Window Transport and that you make sure you have MIDI Merge on. Otherwise, it'll replace what you previously did every time you loop. I also want to point out that after you've done recording with Input Quantize on, it is possible to restore the performance to exactly the way you played it. And to do this, you just go up to Event, Event Operations, Restore Performance, choose the attributes you want to restore, and hit Apply. And there you can see what I had actually played.